Now to judicial matter. The National Judicial Council has reinstated Justice Rita Ophelia Jumagobia as a judge of the Federal High Court. This was contained in a circular signed by the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, Justice John Soho. He said the decision was taken at the meeting of the National Judicial Council held on the 1st of December 2022. The reinstatement takes instant effect and there shall be consequential posting. Justice Ophelia Jumagobia was prosecuted by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on a 15-count charge of money laundering and breach of public trust. Justice Ambrose Lewis Alagua of the Federal High Court, however, discharged uh, Rita Ophelia Jumagobia while granting her application to quash and dismiss the allegations. Joining us to speak more on the reinstatement of Justice Rita Ophelia Jumagobia is a legal practitioner, Libra Sushuma. Thanks for joining us on TVC News at 7. What do you consider the implication of this directive? The position is already clear. Um, the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court has given directive uh, to other judges and MN that uh, are posted will follow consequentially. So what it means is that um, uh, this Justice um, Aljumon Rubia is back to her seat as uh, a judge of the Federal High Court of the Federation of Nigeria. That's what it means. Um, and remember, in um, 2018, 2018, um, the NGC recommended her fact on the basis of uh, an array report. And then um, subsequently, like you said, stated in your report, and the President Bari acted on that recommendation from what I gathered. And then, like you said in your report, she approached the Federal High Court and in 2019, that report that uh, led to her uh, attack was uh, quashed by the court. The NJC report was, was quashed. So the NJC, and then she was subsequently discharged and acquitted because I haven't heard that it lacked jurisdiction to hear the matter of the, that, uh, the foundation for which she was charged haven't been quashed. So what it then means is that um, uh, there is no allegation against um, Justice and mm. Um So there's a debate actually on whether having the, the recommendation, having the um, uh, acted upon by the president, if the NGC still have the power to reinstate her, uh, the president has not acted on, on, on this recommendation. You remember yes. also uh, the case of uh, Justice Ayo Salami. There was a recommendation which was acted upon, and when the NGC subsequently uh, now uh, reversed itself, the president refused to act on that recommendation. So um, and you may actually remember the APC then that was in opposition criticized that thing. Mm. So let us see if um, this also will be uh, criticized by them because it's almost like what happened to Justice Alami then is what is happening played out today, okay. even though both cases are different because that of Justice Alami was not um, of corruption, only completely different matter altogether. How about Mr. So, Shema? Uh, this matter has been on since 2016, and that's about six years. And for, now, for long, we've been talking about the wheel of justice grinding quite slowly in Nigeria. Is that still the case? Yeah. Yes, uh, I always say this. People say the wheel of justice, the wheel of justice grinds slowly, but surely. But we forget that justice delayed is justice denied also. So uh, memories would have failed a lot of people. And so some people will not be remembered, even... For some of us, we have to go back to check the records again. Oh, so, yes, the same justice as Jimogobia, was she discharged? Um, was there no case against her? You know, and all of that. So I think um, this idea of justice uh, being delayed, uh, uh, sorry, this idea of uh, the windmill of justice grinding slowly but surely, uh, we should quickly allow the windmill of justice now grind, grind faster so that people will know their fate. Um, remember the case of the policeman, um, Mr. Okoli, who went to court in 2000 and, um, in 1999, and didn't get judgment. They went to court in 2003, and didn't got judgment 
until 2011, until date, that judgment had not been complied with by the police. So, um, in case of win the windmill of justice, uh, grinding slowly, delays actually the cost of justice in Nigeria. So, we, we should really do something about it. But what mm. it means really is that Justice Andrew Ajimogubia is back to the bench and would be assigned cases and will be hearing cases until our retirement. Mm. So in the case of Justice Ophili Ajimogobia, can we actually say that justice uh, uh, delayed is justice denied? Because yes, indeed, she's been reinstated. But then also, on the minds of the different people, there'll be that talk about uh, uh, morality. I imagine a lawyer standing before her lordship and then um, exactly how these matters would play out in the law courts. In, in the eye of the law, she has not committed an offense. Mm. In the eye of the law, the law... The we, our laws presume you innocent until the contrary is proved. So what this means is that she was taken before a court of competent jurisdiction. She was arrested. She was charged. Uh, the foundation for her um, arrest was quashed. And then she was discharged and acquitted. So in the eye of the law, she has not um, committed any offense. But like you acknowledge, it's a moral burden. But we still can also say in her case that Justice delayed is justice denied. You know what? Assuming uh, now she has been discharged and acquitted, and then she has been um, also um, be reinstated. All of the time that um, she was facing the ESCC battle, she was um, uh, uh, televisions against her were quashed, and she was rearrested in the court premises. Mm. If the bring me of justice were to grant faster. Probably, you know, all of those would have been handled within, you know, a shorter period and she would know her fate. Mm -hmm. so just imagine if she is truly, indeed, you know, um, innocent of all these allegations. You know, the trauma also she would have gone through indeed. all of this. I'm not saying she is, uh, but you know, the trauma she also would have gone through indeed, Mr. You know, all of the times that she was going through the ESC, I don't know. you know. And then, that of course, Mr. Shema, there'll be questions as to if all her emoluments for the, that, uh, the period of time this matter has yes. been on would actually be paid to her. Thank you very much for Thank sharing you. your thoughts with yeah. us on this matter, Mr. Liberos, a Shema legal practitioner. Thank, thank you again. You. Yeah, thank you.